Most software engineers follow outdated strategies to land jobs in Dubai. They are flooding companies with random applications and relying on job boards that nobody is using. So in this video, I will share the exact strategy that helped me and a bunch of my friends break into the UAE tech market and earn salaries exceeding $120,000 per year. To start, let's address the elephant in the room. Does your passport really matter? Most people think your passport is the biggest factor determining your salary in the UAE. Is that true? Well, partially. Expats from Europe and America are paid higher salaries, not because they wouldn't accept lower pay than back home, but mainly because they have stronger education and work experience. Think about it. Most technologies were invented either in the United States or Europe, and that's exactly why UAE companies hire Western expats. Their goal is to import innovation into the country. But things have started changing. Highly skilled expats from developed Asian countries are now in demand. Let me tell you the story. Back in 2019, I joined a brand new AI startup in Abu Dhabi called AIQ. When I arrived, I had an opportunity to meet people working for other AI companies. And I was surprised by how many talented software engineers from China were working at UAE companies. And believe me, these weren't the cheap hires, but elite software engineers. Many of them made more than their European counterparts. It's clear they weren't paid so well because of their Chinese passports, but because of their education and skills. But what if you don't have a fancy degree from a top tier university? Are you doomed to fail? Not at all. I didn't have a fancy degree either, but I had something even more valuable. Before moving to the UAE, I had about seven years of experience at multiple tech companies. For example, I built a video player for a major adult website, believe it or not, but that player was used by over 1 million users every single day. Also, I work at one of the largest e-commerce providers called Digital River. And on top of that, I had the chance to build one cybersecurity product. As you can tell, my professional experience was strong. And thanks to that, recruiters from UAE were sending me job offers while I was still living back in Europe. So here is the bottom line. To make a great living in the UAE, you need either elite education or excellent professional experience. If you are just starting your career, Dubai isn't the right place for you. At least, not yet. And that brings us to another big mistake, relying on job boards. The worst piece of advice anyone can give you when you are looking for a coding job in the UAE is to use job posting websites. I've seen many tech workers waste months applying through these platforms, and guess what? I can't name a single person who landed a well-paid tech job that way. When I checked these websites myself, I found out that they paint completely distorted picture of the UAE tech market. You will find their mostly postings made by companies that are stuck using outdated technologies like PHP 5, .NET, Java, or legacy AngularJS. The best tech companies in the UAE use cutting-edge technologies and have access to world-class resources. Do you remember AIQ, the AI startup I joined? We had access to NVIDIA's latest AI supercomputers called the DGX system. And what do you think? Did we ever post our openings on local job posting websites? Of course not, because we targeted the top talent. We work with professional headhunters who helped us to hire talent overseas. In fact, I didn't find my job. It found me. Simply speaking, a recruiter approached me on LinkedIn, and three months later, I was on a plane to Abu Dhabi. That's why I believe LinkedIn is the only platform worth your time when you're looking for a job in the UAE. But here is the catch. Most software engineers are using LinkedIn completely wrong. Instead of networking with recruiters and hiring managers, they waste their time scrolling to job posts and blindly applying. This is the fastest way to get rejected. If you are serious about landing the best opportunities, you must network directly with people filling those positions. And LinkedIn is perfect for that. But you also need to know which companies are actually worth your attention. And that's why I created the Dubai Tech Guide. After speaking with software engineers and data scientists across the UAE, I compiled a comprehensive guide to help you navigate the UAE tech market. Inside, you will find detailed information about salaries, how compensation works, and which companies pay the highest salaries. 
You can download your copy from the link in the description below this video. And now let's talk about the single most important factor for landing a high paying tech job in the UAE, networking. Here is something most people don't realize. The best job offers are never publicly posted. You don't apply for these roles, you are invited to them. If you look closely at careers of the people earning the highest salaries, you will notice they have one thing in common. They have powerful networks. Just look at VPs and executives. They have worked across multiple companies, met influential people and shaken many hands. So let me show you how you can steal this strategy using my own example. The AI setup I joined was trying to disrupt an incredibly boring industry, oil and gas. We were struggling to hire talent, so we were forced to expand our responsibilities. And thanks to that, I had an opportunity to meet some of the most influential people in the oil and gas companies and other AI startups. So what do you think? If they need to hire software engineers, what will they do? Will they hire strangers or will they approach software engineers they already know? Of course, they would approach people they know first. My former coworkers Abed and Rashid founded their own AI company called Open Innovation. Now they are hiring many of my UAE friends, and in fact, my friends say it is the best company they ever work at. If I ever need to find a new job, I would never waste time browsing job boards, but I would rather turn to my own network. And I'm confident that someone would offer me a job that pays more than the standard market rate. And that's why, if you are serious about building your career in the UAE, you need to start growing your network first. Don't rely on your coding skills or education alone. Meet people and build genuine connection. So one day you will be invited to join the latest tech startups. Because in the UAE, your network isn't just important, it's everything. But before you build your network, you need to build a strong personal brand. Many software engineers believe their tech stack and programming languages make them unique, but that's a myth. There are thousands of JavaScript developers who know Next.js and dream about moving to the UAE. It means your technical skills alone aren't enough. You need to build a personal brand that speaks up for you. But before you panic, I'm not saying that you have to become an influencer. It will be enough if you build a professional looking LinkedIn profile. I know many tech workers dislike LinkedIn because it's full of self-proclaimed thought leaders, but here is the truth. LinkedIn is the number one platform headhunters use to find talent. And trust me, you want recruiters to find you. They are your best friend because they make money when you land a well-paid job. Most of the engineers don't know it, but recruiters get about 30% of your salary after they successfully place you into the role. So it's in their best interest to help you succeed. But to make recruiters find you, you need to improve your LinkedIn profile. And here is how you do that. First, upload a professional photo. Get a clean and sharp headshot. It must look professional, just like mine. Avoid using casual photos from your sister's wedding or the last New Year's Eve party. Your photo should communicate that you are professional and serious. Second, write result-focused work experience. At the beginning of this video, I shared some details about my work experience, but let me quickly remind you. I built a video player for an adult website with over 1 million of daily users, I work at one of the largest global e-commerce providers. I build cybersecurity software and I help scaling an AI startup into $1 billion unicorn. I have a question. Can you tell me what programming languages I know? Probably not. And that's intentional because I'm not a one trick pony. I position myself as a jack of all trades and that's exactly how you should design your LinkedIn profile. Your profile must tell a story about your career. And this story must be so compelling, so recruiters want to hear the details. To do so, you need to rewrite your work experience in a result-based fashion. So let me show you how you do that. Most developers usually write something like this. Build backend services using Node.js and MongoDB. That's fine, but it says nothing about your accomplishments. I would rather write something like that. Developed a fraud detection system that prevented over $2 million in fraudulent transactions. Do you see the difference? The first one is about tech. The second one is about impact. And it raises a lot of questions. 
If you design your LinkedIn profile that way, you will never need to apply for jobs ever again because the recruiters will send you jobs every single week. So now you know how to land your first six-figure coding job in Dubai, but it will mean nothing if you forget to download my Dubai Tech Guide. It will help you to navigate to the UAE tech market and you will find there everything, including insights about compensation and which companies pay the highest salaries. You will find the link to download it in the description below this video. And if you are curious how much you can make in the UAE tech market, watch this video next. And I will show you how much the best tech workers in the UAE can make. So click on the video now and I will see you there.